Subscribe, put on the post notification because I'm gifting two people 50 buckaroonies who comment within the first thousand that's tough, comments. That's tough, man. So yeah, let's start the video. After that, you want me to get some drink? I gotta be. Starting off strong. Does dick size matter? Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, get on the. What line are you on? Oh, am I? I'm on the strongly agree. Oh, am I supposed to be on a line? This okay. is strongly agree. No, no this that's strongly disagree. disagree. Oopsie. I <laughs> <didn't> <laughs> I mean, it does matter because if a guy has a 13 inch dick, then Holy we're kind fuck. of like. Right? Like that's it's like a little too big. It's kind of neutral then. No, over here on Oh, so they don't mind whatever size. It could be any size. Oh, no, it's. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Does dick size matter? Like, well. Well, yeah, because it matters. Strongly if disagree. If you have a big dick, you're going to look cooler. What when the fuck? It. That doesn't matter as much as. What the fuck? Bro, D. Yo, yo, yo. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it. Yeah, that's true. I that's like true. six inches. Uh, yo. Yeah, but I'm saying like dick size matters as in like true. six inches. It matters. If I feel like have, I recognize it from somewhere. If you have a big dick, <laughs> you're going to look cooler when you're fucking it. That doesn't matter as much as technique. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. I like true. six inches. Yeah, but I'm saying like dick size matters as in like there's certain extremes where I'm like, I can't do that. Like yeah. some guys dicks are so big you're like a holiday penis like you're good for christmas and new year's and my birthday but i can't do you every day i would need a wheelchair so in that case it does matter because i'll die so i need a Can smaller be dick Shit. because if his dick is super big i'll have so it does matter to cheat on him all the time with a two incher okay. <laughs> I, i'm neutral no, these girls are like the dick it's too small exactly that's why size matters it's either too small or too big i feel like the nice Wiggle room is like five to eight inches, and then once it's eight. above, if it's above that, my cervix is bruised, and if it's below that, eight. I don't feel your teeny weeny. But then when fans ask you, does size matter? Crazy. People say no. I always say <laughs> yes, as long as you're not like a four incher or that's tough. Four inches is fine. Four is okay. Four inches, yeah, yeah. Fine. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's <laughs> tough, bro. Four inches. I swear the majority is like four. The average is like five. Average uh, size in America. It's Just great. So you know. No, okay. There's such a thing as too big of a, but I don't think there's such a thing as too small of a. Because we've oh, all had yeah, sex with bro. each other and we're all like pussy because owners. I, oh, what the fuck? Oh, that yo, you're comparing his dick to a clip now. That's vile. You're violating. You are violating this. Bo the, the people that have micro penises. You've definitely seen her before. Which one's Tiana Trump? Who's what? There's no Tiana Trump blood. in here. What the fuck are you talking yeah. about? So yeah. and it didn't matter what. Our bro, I know a couple of these in there. I'll be real. Like no, no, like you know. What I mean? Sizes were. Yeah, no, I know. Let's 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 spot who we know. You get me? I know her. Do not know these these three. Don't know actually these four. Sorry, I know her. I know the one next to her. I know the one. It's a micro. It's just like scissors. I got a tiny. Yeah. That's Joel. You, bro. You're gonna. You're gonna. You're gonna act like he's one bitch. You're gonna scissor with a micro penis. Is that what you're gonna say? It's, you're crazy. Same thing. <laughs> I like scissoring. Yeah, I'm cool with that. That's fucked. Put enough spit there. <laughs> In my case, I just think some <laughs> are just too big. Yes, agree. I agree with that. I disagree, <laughs> but I like to swallow swords, so. <laughs> what can I, I say? Like all swords. Oh, these fatherless. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's very much up to personal preference too. Yeah. Right. Like if I, you know, if a guy pulls down his pants, if he, if he has like a two incher, a thirteen. Answer, I'm like, we can work with this, bro. We can find something that'll both help us no. feel pleasure and relief. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, love all sizes. For a one-time thing, I don't think Yo, size these. matters at all. But if you're looking longevity-wise, then yeah, you don't want 13 inches. So it does matter. Oh, make your mind up. I feel like all these goals, it does matter. I could, Over but like... <laughs> <laughs> I say I said no stepsis. I see I see many in them stepsis. I don't want shit. This girl here. But I'm also She's show. agreeing with Kazumi. She's crazy, this girl. This one here. Yeah. With the too big is like, yeah, size does matter, so maybe I'm neutral. Oh 
<laughs> this one's crazy, bro. Big is what they like, and that looks better on camera. That's a but cool. personal life, two inches is fine for me. That's cut. I'm gonna fuck you good anyway, so it doesn't matter. I think it's about girthiness, really. If we're oh, talking I can't like, take girth. Really? I like girth. Oh, I can't take girth. I personally prefer a chode over like yes. a really long, long skinny and skinny. Day. I feel like, like it's a pencil. Yeah. I would like like a little like thick that's three inches way more mm -hmm. than like yo they they speak too openly about sexual like sexual sh is crazy this will be like deep if they if they spoke around this like like centuries ago if they spoke like this they would be like it would be stoned to death most probably like a 10 inch that's like like super fat like, i is, feel like that would just scare oh, me I can't it's crazy that. how life like is a little man. curve <laughs> curves scare me curves scare me. it like hits like the like yeah. like I want to see what the comment section even, even sucking it is like not fun because you're like, oh, it feels yeah. like a hook. But I feel like for me, there's so many. What did they say? I love, I love women like this. They make me feel so safe and secure in my feminine, feminine, femininity. Okay. The other sexual actions that can happen to where it doesn't even matter to the point where it doesn't matter to me because we can do oral or foreplay and honestly foreplay and making out will get me off way quicker than even getting fucked yeah um and i love fingering and fisting so i feel Ooh. like that's why like overall it doesn't really matter because there's so many other like Bro, cool things these you can girls do. are just i will say the better i've gotten at sex the less a size matters because if i like learning how to ride small is such a good skill set that feels really good because it basically feels like scissoring and when i yo i feel bad for the editors man the amount of the amount of times they say dick in this is. I didn't really know how to. F I preferred big f because I felt like they did more work. But now that I know how to be more active during Yo, sex, we need like a. We need like writing, a. I've been we need preferring a small f and like knowing how to we need a interact with different sizes. One of my biggest problems was I used to f a lot of frat boys. So they That's didn't do problem. foreplay. Uh, <laughs> yep, they just yep. fuck you, man. So That's like it. foreplay wasn't a thing. So for like. Only the little f guys do foreplay. <laughs> matters. I can get off different ways. So yo, this I'm I'm a, I'm a... Well, I think size does not matter. I can come on all dicks. Just you know. <laughs> what what's too small or too big for you? Wow. <laughs> Thirteen inches, a little bit too big. But I would like to try. It's too small. I still like to fuck that cock. No oh, I'm fucked, I'm fucked. <laughs> I'm I think when you do porn and then Dude. the dick is smaller, we all kind of are like, yes! <laughs> oh my god, god. it's gonna be a good day on yeah. yeah. You have to prepare and everything, you know. Cool. I've heard, I've heard from sources that they have to prepare, man. Especially for certain types of like, get me, scenes. Crazy. The amount of money. Sometimes the movie scenes are really like, very hard preparation. Crazy. What's the question? What's the crate? You know, I like this. Yeah, line. that's enough dicks for the today, bro. The amount of money a guy makes matters. Ooh, okay, now we're getting into the nitty gritty. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, they make bread as well. They make bread as well. Okay, it matters so to you. I, Interesting. In recent years, I've come to realize. I don't think though. I don't. I. I still don't think a man with wealth, even if you you want a man with wealth, they still won't wife you up. It's simple as. A man of high value will not seek. Value. In women that sell their panani, you get it. Like they are literally they they are form of prostitutes. As as bad like they're literally they're literally prostitutes that they any form of selling your body online or you getting bread for you showing your body that's that's a form of. Like a lot of men are intimidated about my income. If I were to take a guy on vacation yeah, the whole makes... time, he's like, oh, I'm sorry. Like, I wish I could afford this for you. I, sh I could do these Suck things. And, and in 200. my mind, I feel like it's kind of like him thinking because he's the man that he should make a higher income. And we always have like a weird power play with that. I just think that yeah, we got a lot. Yeah. If they had their own money. Income, the income. Equipment. I don't Sinkham. think it matters because she makes. Me, like... Bro, I remember seeing in the Jubilee videos. Yeah, she makes like 180 a month. I'm pretty sure. From what I remember, she makes up. Actually, no, she makes like 300k a month of just what she does. Which is like, yo, we're yo, men are sad, bro. I'll be real. All, all, and all of that bread is us man paying for it, paying for punani. 
Like when I date someone, either it's because I really just like being around you or I like having yeah. sex with you. And hopefully if we're dating, I like both of those things. That's All my weed. boyfriends <laughs> I've ever had, I've always paid for everything. So it's also Yo, I'm just, kind of that in general, part of my dating experience. Yo, but I've never really liked like, it because I've always chosen partners who have contributed in my Sad. life differently because the partners I've had have been able to spoil me in different ways like their emotional intelligence and their time and I find like those things to be priceless compared to when I talk Wait, so what side is this? to richer guys and I just feel like they're douches and I feel like what side they have is she like on? a weird power trip because they do equivalent their value to money. I have always liked guys who are passionate about what they do so it's not like money is a big factor. It's like I don't want someone who's doing something because they think that they can make a lot of money. I don't mm, like that but I'm okay. also so dated guys after starting OnlyFans that like want me to pay for everything and then kind of want me to be a sugar mama. So like I want them to at least make enough to where they don't rely on me to pay for everything. I just want them to do something that they're passionate about. I think people who work only for money are just like a lot more miserable in life. I, I agree with that completely. I think that- Well, I mean, money literally runs the world. You get me? Some people are just, any sometimes, sometimes you just have to make a living. The thing that's most attractive to me is somebody who's driven and success is attractive as well. Even if they're not making, you know, top dollar, if they're successful. But you literally just said you want a man about, with money. That equates to a reasonable income. I, that's not one of my things that I look for is financial, only because my mom always taught me from when I was a young age to always get my own money and to do it on my own to never depend on a man. So when I- Okay, that was weird. I'll be real. That was a bunch of like, like, Yo, that was a bunch of like, I, I don't know if I can say this word on fucking Twitch, bruv. The P word, you know one, the P-E-D-O. Bro, just people waiting. They pre, like I said, they pre-ordered that deluxe edition, bruv. You get me? They were waiting for that. Just to see a couple pictures. It could be a couple pictures. They'll pay for that. Because they're weird. Some, some men are weird. I started dating and going for men who were, I guess, like at a higher, higher rate than I was as far as like income. They were just like really too flashy and they didn't have a lot of interest that I have. So when I was starting to go you for a normal what? guy. Yo, me and, me and this girl, me and her, yeah, we might match. We both like anime. Yo, we can speak for days. <laughs> guys who either made the I'm same joking, amount of money or less I'm they joking. were way nicer and we had more in common so i don't know i just nah, never really man, went for guys with a lot of you, money i tried the sugar daddy thing it sucked <laughs> um because i'm not really good at faking what i'm doing so i feel like broke guys f better they do like, and they're guys with no car they f like you they need a home no man, saying ceos, that. Like, ceos, that. CEOs f better especially when they're f***ing you in their suits trust me yeah that's well you can so like oh yeah she's speaking from experience holy that's fuck yeah. that's, that's experience that is experience it's right there i want to be sugar i don't want them to sugar daddy me it's i want that is sugar daddy that runs their own business that's a ceo the same way that has bread i am i don't know maybe i should go over there to your lobby because <laughs> i agree i agree with i agree with you like yeah. i like the power play i love <laughs> older people i'm not gonna date a bomb but i do like regular girls and guys but and then when i travel <sighs> Normal, I wouldn't say normal people, but people who work at McDonald's or something, they can't pay to go on a trip, and I don't want to. You can't date a guy. Constantly pay for us to. Wait, go wait, wait, Kate. What are you telling us? To me, I feel like my love language is. Do you mean to go? Giving, so I've always had like a big sugar. <laughs> Especially like I just feel like a lot of men aren't taken care of and they'll get compliments and I just like to make them feel really good with like buying them roses and spoiling them in mm. ways and then and also mm. I don't know every time I talk to mm. like a, a rich guy he always sucks ass like it's he's LA. It's don't LA. generalize that out. Rich guys outside yeah why the LA. fuck he's speaking in, yeah <laughs> for me I would like um, the guy that take me on trip, take me out to a nice restaurant. Okay, what you what you providing? Nice what you providing? We get you make bread. We get you make bread, but you're a pfft. you're a pfft. you're a pfft. you sell you s literally sell yourself. What do you bring to the table? You get me? You are not gonna. You are never gonna be. You are never gonna be the mother of my child. I don't think rich people, rich rich men will say the same thing most probably. They will not look at you. They will. They will turn a blind, a side eye to you. They will side eye. To dress nice, to go you're to nice places. You're asking all these things, but you're gonna. It's do. not like he have to make a, like top. You fucked up your whole life. It's at least he's have the money 
to provide. Um, yeah, I think it makes more sense to date someone like on the same playing field as yourself. I mean, dating someone with a little less money is fine too if they're like grinding and like on their come up, like I'll rock with you too. Um, so I have I actually not. dated plenty of men who are unemployed and I didn't really enjoy it. <laughs> so I really don't mind being the one who pays for it if my partner can't afford it. But I also really do enjoy being uh, given gifts, right? Even if he isn't making a lot of money, like getting me a little chocolate from like 7-Eleven. But okay. I do appreciate somebody who is making enough money to show me love in a gift giving way, even if it's really tiny. Sex work is easy money. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, come on out. Give it out. <laughs> come on now. Come on now. Come on now. That would be funny if we were all in a Oh agree. my god. <laughs> all right, Violet. How Tell me how it is not easy money besides you having to promote yourself and answer messages. I believe you guys are a neutral. Why is that? I say yes because when you're attractive I can just post a titty picture and then exactly I you make bread and you're telling me that's not that's that's e that's not e that's not easy huh the fuck I make money off that so I say it's easy in that way but no because of what we go through mentally and physically but that's not the question bro like I'm pretty sure the question was is it easy is it is it easy money we're not talking about is it easy or is it is it easy to do come on come on violet man basically when we do she, these scenes she play where in we that. have to train for anal do gang bangs and it's not really as easy as people make it seem easy for some things but it's really hard for other things you know we're such a small representation of people who do porn when there's hundreds of thousands of people who aren't as successful or don't look th the same way as us and they still absorb that same amount of risk of like social stigma and the way people treat us and the way people talk to us and date us and the way we try to buy houses and but on top of that i, I guarantee like them people that are most probably not very successful they're ugly as fuck man it's just simple as that's just the masses bro if you are a good looking person go in particular if you if you look good maybe if you got if you got plastic this plastic that bro people it doesn't matter any mammal like like people will buy your shit like becoming a successful sex worker or a successful entertainer, you can't be stupid. You know, you have to have like some type of wit and some type of creativity about you because unlike most forms of creativity. entertainment, there is no handbook for becoming a successful porn star yeah. or OnlyFans girl. On top of the fact that, yeah, triple anal is hard, but also like, <laughs> you know, like yeah, all the You're hate not... can be hard. Even with thick skin, it can be extremely difficult. Oh, they're not and, you know, talking like, my parents about don't that. even know what I do because it would be such a bad time for me. So I I feel like in that aspect, it is hard. So being a sex worker isn't just going out there and f***ing, it's actually being your own CEO. So like, okay. I have a company, I have 40 employees, I manage it every day, I have people we're that depend on me and my- Bro, we're not talking about, yo, they don't get in the question. They're trying to, you see how they're trying to like maneuver the question? They're asking, is sex work easy money? Do you fuck then get paid? Voila, yes. Can you post a titty pic or you fingering yourself? etc and get paid yes voila money voila easy my body literally working my ass off for this brand and on top of that my 10 We're not years talking about your brand bro. that's complete two nerves in my back and oh yeah she's a from pile driver and i have some health problems now from all the times that i've cleaned out i've had stitches in my vajay um, from scenes, so I don't think people really take that into account, like, especially when you perform on a certain level, you're a sexual athlete. Like, if you do a DP, I don't know Fucking if you guys have done sexual... it, it feels like you've been in a 20 mile car wreck the next day. Oh no. Right? Like, <laughs> like I I'm just got hit, month. got in a car accident at 20 miles per hour. I'm gonna speak on the black girls in the industry, pretty or not, they have it really tough. Yeah, there's racism okay. in every industry, but for black women, just taking off their clothes in a sex industry, it's not the same playing field. It's completely different. Why is it completely different? Like, what kind of struggles do you guys go through? <sighs> there's hair situations, there's makeup situations, there's maybe the white guy's not really attracted to the black girl, and he mentions it on set, and then he's like, fuck, you have to fuck you. Why the fuck did you tell me that? I don't, I don't need fuck? to hear that. Like, let's just do it and make our money and go home. But you have that, directors being racist, girls, black girls not being hired as much as white girls. 
Yeah. So the money's very different between a white Just woman. do OF, bro. There was just something you the other day. It. A girl couldn't wear her afro on set, like her natural hair what? on set. They were like, no, we have to do something to your hair. That's messed up. Yeah. That's so messed up. I was like, can't really? even wear your f***ing natural hair to set. And it's also emotionally draining having to respond to like subscribers sometimes because it's oh, like, I haven't had sex money. with a man I'm in so... over a year. And it's like, subs are always like, well, why don't you do this? Why don't you do that? Like, what I'm doing is not enough for them. And that also... T well, I mean, you, you put yourself in that position, didn't you? You're the one that literally w signed up for this, so don't moan. You get me? <laughs> She literally moaned about her own job. <laughs> Takes an emotional toll. They want so much, but yeah. before OnlyFans, it was just like, you could only see us in movies online. Mm -hmm. Now that they have OnlyFans, they're like, you're mine. Yeah. No, yeah. we need I like time. I, I think- No, nope, that's not how it works, no. We could talk about all the issues we face, and a lot of the comments are going to prove us exactly right, because they'll still be like, you chose this. Yeah, yeah. 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 Like, that's, yeah. That's, yeah. that's what I've been thinking this entire There's, time. It's like, I could say like, oh, this is so sad, and they'll be like, well, you decided to be a whore. Yeah, but well, it's true. Is, you literally openly my, say you're a whore. What does my job have to do with the treatment of you? Just because I decided that this is what I wanted to do, doesn't mean I've decided to allow you to treat me with that type of um, mannerisms because I decided bro who who in the right mind of any like just like generally is openly a whore how can I how can I treat you with respect if you openly say that you're you're a whore well you're not you're, you're a delusional person if you openly say you're a whore and you you want me to treat you with respect eh? I did expose my body online. I think sex works is, is easy, like in a sense where I could just like pull my tits out and like make the same as like a minimum wage job working 40 hours a week. But also the mental toll and the physical toll of just like putting yourself on display every day isn't easy. If you are a very conventionally attractive white woman, it is easy to start in the beginning, but you need- Wait, 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 chat, 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 wait. I need to go back real quick. What was the fucking question again? I'm pretty sure is it easy money, right? Sex work is easy money. Why are they speaking about their mental health? Why are they actually speaking about it? Because there was no, there was no thing like, they just asked, is it easy to make money? Doing sex, doing sex work, and yes, the qu the answer is yes. Have maybe this is all I can do. They're For just trying to make to it comment, like, like oh, now. you know, slut, whore, whale, fat, like a bunch of other things. It's hard. I said neutral just because I took it from like a personal standpoint and I find sex work easy for me. I'm a horny gal. So, exactly. you know, when I was working like a nine to five, I used to work in a nightclub industry. And one, not only did I have to fit my sex life around the crazy hours I was working too, I got sexually harassed way more in that industry than I ever have on a porn set. Obviously speaking, you know, I have the privileges of being white, conventionally attractive, all of that. I really enjoy doing it. I haven't had a bad experience yet. That might change. And obviously everyone's experience is different, but for me personally, it's the easiest and best job I've ever had. I'm happy I'm you're getting dicked down. Up with my I'm friends. very happy for her. I'm very happy she's getting dicked down on a daily. Amazing human. What was the question? To hooking up with my fans. I'm open to hooking up with my fans. That's Yes, aren't that? Did I say that? Where's yes? Oh, that. This is yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. That's no. That's no. no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I gave a fan an experience one time, and the competition was for the disabled. And I had an experience of a fan, and he was completely blind. He'd only heard my voice on podcasts. And I remember I asked him if he was. How did he get hard then? Because, like, in order to be sexually aroused, right? Actually, no, like, it could be physical touch as well. But, like... An ass or titty guy. He said titty guy. How the fuck is he your fan, though? If he could only hear your voice. <laughs> if he's a fan of your work, he can only hear your voice. He's just a fan of your voice. I let him touch my boobs for so long. And I know... <laughs> and I know 
that that moment mattered so much to him because a lot of people don't realize that disabled people are horny and I should get some mods be before I get big, you know. I have a couple mods, yeah. Actually, no, 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 no. I have like, I have like one mod right now. Also have the same needs as wants as everyone else. I like to just give someone a good time, man. Like, why the fuck <gasps> yeah, not? Man. I don't care if you're a fan or not. I mean, I yeah, feel I like anyone that's me mods. now has probably seen my porn, so they probably are already a fan. So I feel like they try harder. I feel like my fans are cute. And I like to make men happy. It's like my purpose. I like to make them horny. I like boners. I like everything. Yeah, I don't think there's any See, good. thing more flattering than hooking up with someone who is obsessed, obsessed with you. <laughs> like it. anyone that I would want to date, I would want my partner to be like adore me and be obsessed with me and be my biggest fan. So why wouldn't I be a fan? So what I try to establish with my fans is kind of like a relationship. I feel like a lot of them mm. are dating me um, and picture me as their girlfriend. So no, that's obviously fucked. you want to fuck your girlfriend. And then um, also I do a lot of fan stuff because one of the best things you can do when you're building a business, so you wanna build a niche clickable group so that way you have these inside jokes or you have these other people that are gonna be like, I got to f Adriana Chechik. Okay. Oh, I haven't f a fan yet, but I'm definitely open to it. I mean, I see the text that you guys send in and I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Soon enough, yeah. soon enough, yeah. I'm sure. I'm like, why is it so big? You should be important. I, I, always, have, I always have fans who have the best loads. Like, I've, yeah. I've done scenes where they've just come and drop loads on me, and like, even porn directors who have filmed it have been like, You'd be why down. Are they better than You'd be down to be on Discord mod. I know nothing about Discord. If you want. And male talent. And I'm like, because they're not jaded and they're excited to be here. Like, what you have said, mm -hmm. like, they're excited to be with you. They're excited for the experience. So. They don't take a bunch of shit to keep them Yeah, and it's just like, one, so. two times, they're ready to go, you know? <laughs> I strongly agree and agree because I've f***ed a couple fans. One was a disabled like yours. He had autism. Oh. He, I thought I was going to die, though, honestly. <laughs> because of the autism? Yeah, he choked me out. And oh. I was like, holy f***, what the f***, yo. Looking outside the window to like the neighbors, like this is it, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I just oh, met him. I was like, right I now. just met him, but yeah, this is it. <laughs> but yeah, I, I like to see my fans because they know me. We talk, like it's personal, and they're kind of weird. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. They like what you like because yeah. they watch you. We so talk about better. video games, like video, like they're cool. Um, I have a lot of my fans. <laughs> <laughs> But I just like to f fans because like you don't know them, like you're just chatting with them online and then all of a sudden Damn, really? So you have, you have Mmm, okay I'm just meeting them. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to. I'm, 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 I'm and then get excited. I don't mind They put out this trick, like it's really good sex, mm. and some of them are really cute. <laughs> they try hard. Yeah. yeah I like yeah. that they try hard. <laughs> if you're and in it enough, you're demanding yeah. to them too. Because yeah. they're also like, oh my god, this is great. So, like, you can be like, no, get down on the floor and fucking do this right now. Like, oh, what know? the fuck? <laughs> oh, nah. Yo, 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 yo. You're, you're not degrading shit. Okay, now that's some, that's some like. I'll be real, that's some like, like some slave master shit, I swear to Any girl that likes that shit, bruv, there, there have to be some internalized racism in that shit because no way, as a woman, you want to degrade a man that much that, that he's basically a slave on the floor and you're whipping him. Loud at. Yo, that's, that's crazy. You, you, you have a mental, you have, there's something wrong with your mental if you, if you like that shit. <laughs> Sometimes, like, guys, like, try to play it That's cool, like, and they're like, oh, whatever, like, it doesn't matter if we f*** or not. And I'm always like, you're a loser, dude, because yeah. I have guys begging to f*** me, and I want a guy who, like, is on his knees. Yeah. <sighs> yo, yo, yo. Yo, any man out here that really, like, fools for the type of woman? Bro, you need, you, you need fucking, yo, you man need help, man. The fact that there are, there's men out here that are this fucking... Their limps this badly for a girl like that. You might need help. Uh, <laughs> yeah, worship us. We just and the f and the thing is, all them motherfuckers that be on their knees and shit, they're rich as fuck, and they want to be degraded. I bet yo, shit.
So my entire page, I do cater to like what is known as like a girlfriend experience, kind of similar to Adriana. I like to get really personal with my fans. I offer a lot of things like video game dates and e-dates and stuff like that. I haven't f***ed a fan yet, but I really want to. There are some where I'm like, hey, you're actually really cute and I'm really <laughs> vibing with you. And like, do you want to come over and anime and chill? Because I'm also like a very like nerdy girl at heart. And so a lot of the men that I meet, you know, they don't have a lot of confidence and they don't normally get a lot of female attention. And I just love making them feel as confident as they should feel about themselves. And I'm like, hey, like nerdy guys are my type. Like, <laughs> trust me, you have a, you have a chance, bro. <laughs> Well, I pretty much started from the beginning of my career doing the <gasps> fans because I wasn't really shooting that much and I was constantly online so I had time to just hang out and be with my fans and Relationships are hard in this industry. Well, they really just cut out the damn that's tough. Oh, wait, oh, wait. This is, no. this wait, this way. No. This is yes. Yeah. She was like she definitely waffled. For She's like fuck sure. that. Relationships have no. This is What's the question? Really <laughs> with my fans and Relationships are hard in this industry. Yeah, don't lie. Don't lie. Don't lie. Just go dis wait, um, oh, wait, disagree. This wait, this way. No. This is yes. Yeah. This is don't die for coochie <laughs> facts, bro. Sure. Relationships have always been really easy for me. Sorry. <laughs> Sharded. Yeah. What, are you just fucking them in the industry? If I'm dating someone, I give them the enough respect to let them know everything there is about me. Even my piss kink. Because I... Oh, she like water sports. That's crazy. She just said it. I want them to have the space to make that judgment on their own if they want to fuck with me or not. If I'm going to yeah. prolong that important <laughs> conversation, even if it wasn't about sex Yo, porn, I would basically be wasting my time and like heading towards the inevitable, inevitable, which is finding people that don't fuck with that. So I've always been really straight up like, hey, like this is what I'm about, this is what I'm into, and I own that. This is my life, and it really fulfills me. I will never be monogamous. And if there's one thing I like more than oh, so she's open every single day. So, you know, and if you're not into that, then. We what did she say? It's new every it's always been really straight up like hey like this is what I'm about This is what I'm into and I own that this is my life and it really fulfills me I will never be did she say music There's one thing I like more than it's new every single day. Oh new dick. Holy fuck I thought yo, why did I think she said music? You're always getting happy, bro. I was like she's gonna say something normal for once. She said new dick New dick oh my yo Yo, why do people have platforms, man? Like, why do people like this generally have platforms? Yeah, she said piss, bro. She said piss. She likes to get pissed on. So, you know, and if you're not into that, then we wouldn't date. I attract exactly what I am, so I feel like I date yeah, fellow slut, sluts. Bro. So they yeah, kind of get the game. I've been in a long-term open relationship for years now, and even before I did porn. I'm just surrounded by my circle of people who agree with what I agree with, so I'm always going to be dating people who understand sex work, so... Does she believe... Is she ever gonna have a baby? I wanna know this. It's never... I wanna... Yo, we need we need the question. We need the big question. Are any of them gonna be... Mo do they wanna be mothers in the future? Ben Come on, where's, that, where's the question? We need that one. Wouldn't agree with that. We need that. never been an option to me. Just to clear things up, what is your piss kink exactly? Oh my god. I love god. to get why you? pissed on. You do? Yeah. See, what, what, bro, what why else are you going deep mean? into it? I don't know. I'm just asking for the idiots that are watching this. Like, what, what else could a piss kink be? Like, yeah. Like, you like drinking it? <laughs> no, I'm like a gargler. Some people like it oh. in there. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've had pee in oh, my pussy. Yeah. So have I. It feels nice. Wow. It's warm. It yeah. is very warm. And then warm. they can <laughs> it out a little bit. It's nice. <laughs> it's happened to me. Oh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I feel like it kind of also like cleans it out. I don't know if anyone it's else that way, but I don't yeah, know if like, it cleans oh, it out. It's nice now. <laughs> it feels evil in there. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. Relationship is hard. This is true story. I was on Hinge at one point, like dating site. Yes, I was posting my profile, and this guy act like. Like he doesn't know who I am and asked me out. So when we got to the bar, or whatever, thank God it's a bar, it's not a restaurant. <laughs> so he started talking this, oh, do you want to tell me anything? Oh, how about your online That's what I'm things? saying, man. It's this like Lana Rhodes, man. He really just wanted to date me. He wanted to, like, ask me out. She's like the... Real, the or maybe, like, have that sex kid is like, the, like um, yeah. I think um, she had I'm a kid with, like, some NBA player. I beg we stop. We're nearly done. We're nearly done. We, we got four more minutes, bro. Four more minutes. Incredibly hard to do. I'm gonna hop on the game after as well. Like, 
can't get dates. So there's two perspectives on that. So if I were to go meet somebody, it's kind of hard because I don't like random people to know my real name. So obviously I'm meeting them we'll as Adriana Chechik and that's extremely hard. It's intimidating. Um, I've had guys literally- Yo, wait, what's good, wait, what's good? Because they're so intimidated by me. And then also I've done some of the most extreme- Yo, her nose is crazy. On camera that guys can't swallow or get past. I currently do kind of look like a little bit of a lump. Wade, 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 we need you to hop on Twitch. Do you have Twitch downloaded? Only life. There's another aspect where guys only want to date me to like show show me off to other people or their friends. They immediately treat me like sex acts on camera that guys can't swallow or get past. I currently do kind of look like a little bit of a Download life. it, Wade, There's man. We need you in that we need you in the Twitch the Twitch shit, man. Me to like I need show, you to show download me off that to other people or their friends. They immediately treat me like the Adrianic Adriana Chechik like experience, right? So like if I was going to go meet a guy, yeah. like, like if you're, if you're in, the, in this industry, anything, like, the bro, they that's and, what you've, like, you've done me. to yourself. So it's really like disheartening to be honest. And I've kind of just- I feel like she might want like, a baby, you know? Sadly, I actually feel like I might not ever find like a boyfriend like that. I might just end up being alone forever. Yeah, so- <laughs> why, are you, why, why are you surprised? I think there are plenty of people who are immediately not an option for me because I also practice ethical non-monogamy. I have been in an open relationship for a few years now. He was with me when I started to get into the sex work industry and there were a lot of battles there. Um, a lot of men feel intimidated, especially if you work with other men. They're like, oh, I can't live up to, you know, the people that you're working with. I don't know how to do this. And there are a lot of intimacy problems that can occur. Yeah, that's why I think it's hard, but it's also not hard depending. I think you just need a lot of communication. I agree that nah, it's really hard. It's um, once you get into a relationship, your fans feel like they're not in the same relationship anymore. So to be with someone like me, you're gonna have to understand that I can't be posting you. I can't be ex like showing you off how you are with me because my fans are not only gonna feel like entitled, but they're also gonna be disrespectful to you. They're gonna be sending you screenshots of my work and telling you very hateful things. And I feel like you have to be Yo, mentally prepared to date a sexual or a performer because of what they're, comes they're with lips, it. Because their lips, bro. Their lips, they'll never have that chance in their life. Sex, you're gonna have to be okay they're weirdos, not, man. Like, they're weird fucking men. Have sex and it's just a lot. Bro, they're not gonna ask the baby question, man. Ask it. Bisexual is a hit or miss too, because the women outside the industry can't understand how you take <laughs> on film. Yes, <laughs> that and happens be gay. to me. Like, what? Like, that happens to me. So I'm on a website for women because I wanted to like look for a girl. And they, if like real lesbians, don't want to interact with they you understand. if you've had a <gasps> inside of you. Yeah. And it's extremely hard. And like, it's a job. Yeah. It's a fun job, but it's a job. Yeah. I'm coming home to you and I'm going to take a shower before I get in bed with you. Like, yeah. She's going to. Please. I love what I do right now. I love sex. I love everything about the industry, but I'm also, I'm 21. So right now I'm not looking for anything super long term. Relationship wise, I'm very monogamous. So when I do get to that point, I think I will have wanted to leave the industry. So okay. That I can pursue that to the extent that I want to. But are they wife you? Was trying to are find they gonna wife you? Monogamous relationship right now it would be basically impossible with what I do for work. I'm on the same page as Holly. Once I get into a relationship, I probably will want it to be monogamous, and I think it'll just work best if I'm more out of the scene once I want to get into one and you're barely getting into the scene right well i've done only fans for three years but i'm going to start working with more people now and doing porn so i'm very excited it's nothing to clap for i always said that no one Boom. wanted to date me in the first place so i feel like only fans honestly made it a lot easier to find people who wanted to date me i feel like i'm my most authentic self with only fans i haven't been in a long-term relationship and this is like very specific to me again no one wanted to date me in the first place but like all of a sudden all these guys want to take me out or want to do things with me that just no one wanted to do before the things hard too it's like they want to adriana chachik they don't want to this yeah. person I'm like Dude, we can't do this no, all I don't the time. No, I swallow your dick all the time. Like, yeah. can I just lay there and do the zombie? Can we be subtle? Like, like, yeah, no, poor start to eat me out and yeah. let me go to sleep. Yeah. That's gonna actually gonna be lead to my next question. So let's get you guys in the middle. Do you guys think I'm cute? Oh, bro, why is he not? Oh, bro, ask the baby, man. 
I don't know why I ran. <laughs> Alright guys, that's the end of the video. How do you guys feel? How do you guys feel Good. that went? I think it's really cool that we were allowed to talk on um, some subjects people don't really get to understand or hear and give them some insight into, you know, our personal opinions and feelings, especially with the like dating parts and the money stuff. A lot of people don't know that, so I think it was awesome. I know okay. a lot of people are going to learn a lot of new things watching this video, which is really cool. I learned nothing, awesome. bro. You guys, make sure to follow them on everything, guys. Check out their OnlyFans. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm not checking out that shit, bro. I'll go to Reddit. <laughs> Check out Reddit. <laughs>